My chin is throbbing. Ow! It hurts when I poke it, but I poke it anyway. Your word is nigger faggot. <laughs> Can I have the country of origin? Africa. So, Dalton, what are your thoughts on gay marriage? I don't have a problem with it. So you'd be okay if a faggot came up and just started, like, pressing your nipple? Like you do all the time. I'm not a faggot. What's the difference? If a straight man does it or if a gay man does it? Not all gay guys want to sleep with every straight male. Secretly, they all have that secret agenda. <laughs> How can you say that? Have you ever met a gay person? Yeah. Did they want you? No. How do you know? Did they tell you I'm not interested in you? No, but... Then just, how do you not know? Micah, do you know who you're talking to? Everyone wants you, Dalton. I understand you. Oh, unless you're arguing they know that they don't. Most. Oh, well, now... It, oh. It's gone from most to some. A lot of people do. Most, some, a lot? And I, I have to admit, I have met some gay guys that did. And how did that feel? It was awkward and weird. So, would you, so so then you'd be okay being awkward and weird around gay people all the time? Well, no, as long as they didn't hit on me. But gay people do hit on me. No. They no, have. All they the have they? They have. So gay people do hit on me. But if I hung around them, they wouldn't. Because they'd know that I was not gay. So, in order for you to have a conversation with a gay person, you have to get to know them first? Well, no, because how else would you have a conversation if you didn't know them. So they could potentially hit on you whenever you meet them. Well, I don't go around just meeting gay people. Like, if somebody has a gay friend and they're like, oh, hey, this is, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, hey, hi. So you march in gay pride parade? No. I'm not gay. So you, you support gayness? I don't support it, but I don't see that there's anything wrong with it. If you're not for something, you're against it. So are you for it or are you against it? Pick a side. I'm for it. You homo. You know how I know you're gay? You just said you're for gayness. That's how I know you're gay. <laughs> you totally lost that argument. That's not even a legitimate argument. You know how I know you're gay? You said I'm homo in the text message to me. <laughs> prove it. Don't prove it. That was a joke. And you took it out of context. Don't. <laughs> no. You took it out of context. You make gay jokes all the time. But when I make a gay joke... When do I make a gay joke? When, do, when was the last time I made a gay joke? Hold on. You rubbed my nipple. On camera. A few seconds ago. I think this qualifies as a gay I, joke. I don't, I, don't re I don't recall that. Do you have proof? Think you, you think you're cool now? Yeah. I just got it on camera, so... I mean, that's cool that you did that, but... It was in vain. <laughs> I already won. I already smoked your ass for breakfast. You can't smoke my ass when it was a question about my opinion. There was no argument. I have text message proof that says you're homo. And I also have first-hand... ...vocal proof... That says, like when you rub my nipple. I'm for gayness. Like when you rub my nipple a few seconds ago. No, I was, I was merely that, saying. No, no, no. That is physical evidence right there. I was, dem I was demonstrating on what it would be like in a gay society. No, no, no. I think you secretly wanted to do that, and you just used this conversation as an excuse to do that. You think I need an excuse to do it now? <laughs> you need? I think you better have one if you ever get close to me. <laughs> Whoa now, nigger faggot! We better stop having these conversations. When we get violent. Oh. <laughs> Man, nigger faggot. I'm not even black.
Why are you trying to go for my nut, man? But you couldn't break me with that. <laughs>